Evlori from Despoto. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, always, now, and forever, and under the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of God and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Yerasimos, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruit of the earth, and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, 
Your power is beyond compare, and your glory is beyond understanding. Your mercy is immeasurable, and your love for us is beyond the power of words even to describe. Master, look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness. Grant to us and to those who pray with us the riches of your mercy and compassion. For to you belongs all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Clap your hands, all nations, shout to God with sounds of joy, songs of joy. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. <laughs> For the Lord Most High is awesome, a great King over all the earth. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. He subdued people under us and nations under our feet. God has gone up in jubilation, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. Save us, Son of God. The mountains of Zion on the north side of the city, great king, God is known in her towers when he comes to save her. For lo, the kings of the earth were assembled, they came together. Save us, O Son of God, who were taken up in glory to heaven from us. We sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of age. Amen. Only begotten Son and Logos of God, be immortal. You condescended for our salvation to take flesh from the Holy Pharaoh of Tokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified, but conquered death by death. Be one with the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the
let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord, you have given us grace to offer these common prayers with one voice. You have promised to grant the request of what we gather in your holy name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants for our benefit, giving us the knowledge of your truth in this world and granting us eternal life in the ages to come. For you are our good and loving God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Hear this, all you nations, give ear all who inhabit the world. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. I will enfold my problem on the music of the heart. You ascended in glory, O Christ our God, having gladdened your disciples by your promise of the Holy Spirit, and your blessings
one hundred and fifty divine and blessed hierarchs, interpreters and counselors to the second ecumenical council, who in wisdom preach the power of the divine spirit, deliver from the harm and pain of heresy all who chant, Glory to him by whom you became wondrous. Glory to him by whom you were magnified. Glory to him who through, 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 through whom you confirmed the minds of the faithful. You are praised by the seraphim with the thrice holy hymn, and glorified by the cherubim and worshipped by all the heavenly powers. You brought all things out of nothing to being. You've created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to those who ask and do not overlook the sinner, but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You've made us your lowly and unworthy servants, Worthy to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and offer unto due worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of us sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive all of our voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives. By the intercession of the holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you are holy, our God, and unto you do we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages.
dynami. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, for you are just in all you have done. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us listen attentively. In those days, Paul had decided to sail past Ephesus so that he might not have to spend time in Asia. For he was hastening to be at Jerusalem, if possible, on the day of Pentecost. And from Miletos, he sent to Ephesus and called to him the elders of the church. And when they came to him, he said to them, take heed to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. He cared for the church of God, which he obtained with the blood of his own son. I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come among you, not sparing the flock, and from among your own cells will arise men speaking perverse things to draw away the, the disciples after them. Therefore be alert, remembering for three years I did not cease night or day to admonish everyone with tears, and now I command you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I coveted no one's silver or gold or apparel. You yourselves know that these hands ministered to my necessities and to those who were with me. In all things I have shown you that by so toiling, one must help the weak, remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And when he had spoken thus, he knelt down and prayed with them all. Peace be unto you, the reader. God's of God. God of gods, the Lord has spoken and has called the earth. Gather his saints together to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Alleluia. loving master the pure light of your divine knowledge open the eyes of our minds that we may understand the message of your gospel instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments so having conquered our sinful desires we may lead a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you for you all Christ our God by the light of our souls and bodies and unto you do we offer our glory Together with your Father who is without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Taken from the Holy Gospel 
according to St. John. Let us listen attentively. At that time, Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify the Son, that the Son may glorify thee, since thou hast given him power over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom thou hast given him. And this is eternal life, that they know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I glorified thee on earth, having accomplished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, Father, glorify thou me in thy own presence with the glory which I had with thee before the world was made. I have manifested thy name to the men whom thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now they know that everything that thou hast given me is from thee. For I have given them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom thou hast given me, for they are thine. All mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but they are in the world and I am coming to thee. Holy Father, keep them in thy name, which thou hast given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in thy name, which thou hast given me. I have guarded them, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to thee, and these things I speak in the world. That they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Peace be unto you who proclaims the Holy Gospel. Again, we bow before you and pray, O good and loving God. Hear our supplication. Cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, that they may always worship you with reverence and love, partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always, God, and by your power, we may give glory to you. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and under the ages of ages.
Andani mo Nisti Kyrios o Theos and the Vasilia of Tu Pandote May the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Σερωσύνη σου, μνηστη Κύριο Θεός, εν τη βασιλεία αυτού, της διακονίας σου, μνηστη Κύριο Θεός, εν τη βασιλεία αυτού, πάντα τα νύχια,
commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let it reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of your people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, that your good and gracious spirit may abide with us with the gifts here presented, and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be. He came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead of his kingdom that shall be no end and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, a look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come, amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And in your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. and right to sing to you, bless you, praise you, give thanks to you, and worship you. 
in all places of a dominion. For you are God, ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things that we know and do not know. For blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, by the Gerovim and the Seraphim, six winged, many eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Blessed powers, O loving Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the entire plan of salvation for us. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather, when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broken, then gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Remembering, therefore, this command of our Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we ask, pray, and beg you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Change them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That these gifts might be for those who partake of them for vigilance of the soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer to you this spiritual worship 
For those who rest in the faith, our forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, teachers, for every righteous spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the veiled tokos and ever virgin Mary. spiritual worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those living in purity and holiness, and for all those in public service. Permit them, O Lord, to serve and govern in peace, that through the faithful conduct of their duties, we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Gerasimus, grant that he may serve your Holy Churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all the people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country and the faithful who dwell in them, Remember, Lord, those who are traveling, the sick, the suffering, the captives, grant them their protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches and who care for the poor. Send your mercies upon us all. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and under the ages of ages. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts you're offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our loving God who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance. May in return send upon us divine grace 
and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and beg you. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, the forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you. We give thanks to you, invisible King, by your infinite power you created all things, and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you, for they have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the needs of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Jesus Christ, our God, here is your holy dwelling place, and from the glorious throne of your kingdom, you are enthroned on high with the Father, and are also invisibly present among us. Come and make us holy. Let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand, and through us, to all your people. Proscome. Jesus Christ conquers all the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Holy Communion Prayers on page 33. I believe, Lord, and confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, whether voluntary or involuntary, committed in word or deed, knowingly or unwittingly, and make me worthy without condemnation, partake in your pure mysteries, for remission of my sins 
and for everlasting life. Amen. You have enticed me, O Christ, and I yearn for you. By your divine love, you have transformed me. Consume my sins in spiritual flame, and let me be filled with the sheer delight of you, O gracious Lord, that rejoicing I may magnify both your advents. How shall I, so unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal feast, my clothing will disgrace me, since it is not a wedding garment. Then I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my worthiness. Instead, may I receive them for the cleansing and sanctification of both soul and body and as a pledge of the future life and your kingdom. It is good for me to cling to my God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of this mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. We welcome all of our guests and our visitors this morning. We're glad to have you with us. We respectfully remind you that the sacrament of Holy Communion is reserved for those who are baptized or chrismated Orthodox Christian in good sacramental standing with the Church, who have properly prepared through fasting, prayer, and the sacrament of Holy Confession. Therefore, if you're not Orthodox or if you have not properly prepared, we would ask respectfully that you remain in the pews during Holy Communion. But then at the end of the service, if you wish, you may come forward to receive a blessing from the priest. There's further information in the cards in the pews. And the communion order is first the Sunday school teachers with their own children, then the choir with the acolytes, then the ushers will escort the Sunday school children row by row, and then return to the front of the church to escort the adults row by row. Thank you.
With the fear of God, faith and love draw near. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever on my lips. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My soul shall glory in the Lord. Let the meek hear and rejoice. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I sought to look, approach the Lord and be enlightened, and your face shall never be shamed. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Keep your tongue from wickedness and your lips from deceitful speech. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia. 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 Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and He will save the humble in spirit. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord will deem the souls of His servants, and none of those who hope in Him shall be lost. Taste and see how good the Lord is. The servant of God. Alleluia. 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 Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia. 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 Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia. Alleluia. For the Alleluia. forgiveness of the servant of God, God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. With the lavagna of the Lord, 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 the the Lord, 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 the servant of God, our Lord, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Lewis, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Edeen, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, George, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Με τα λαβάνια του Θεού Κωνσταντίνος. Σώμα και με Χριστού Ισάφες, να μας διόν και ζωή, αιώνια να μην. The servant of God, George, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, the servant of God, love daddy, George. 
the servant of God, Christophorus. Metalavani Soma Kema Christi. The servant of God. I give you a blessing. Receive the body of your eyes. Of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. The servant of God, Christina. Receive the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of your sins and life and last. Metalavani Dufeo. Eleni Soma Kema Christi. The servant of God. The servant of God. Christopher receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and life. The servant of God, the servant of God Albert, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The body of the Lord and the so make a magistrate shaft of the Lord and the Zain, and the Mean. The Lavanya do the third year of the year. So make a magistrate shaft of the Lord and the Zain, and the Mean. The Lavanya do the third year of the year. So make a magistrate shaft of the Lord and the Zain, and the Mean. The servant of God, Nicoletta, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Antonio, metalabani somi ke mafustu isaf esina matiyan kuzein amin. The servant of God, Maria, metalabani somi ke mafustu isaf esina matiyan kuzein amin. Metalabani adolu sotel. Somi ke mafustu isaf esina matiyan kuzein amin. Metalabani adolu sotel di amandia. Σώμα και με Χριστού, η σάφεση των μαστιών και η ζωή, αιώνια, αμήν. The servant of God, the man dear, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Neshta, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, William, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and the blood of our Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. Receives the body and the blood. The servant of God, Elvira, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. Of our Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and under the ages of ages. Mercy 
upon us and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you in loving God and Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guide our lives and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the Lord and the prophets. You have fulfilled all the dispensation of the Father. Fill our hearts with the joy and gladness, always now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and forever, and under the ages of ages. to you, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, ascended into heaven, and is our good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us. Through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, by the power of his precious and life-giving cross, the protection of all the angelic powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, the prayers of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, especially St. Paul the Apostle, whose name our church bears, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our holy and God-bearing Father, John Chrysostom, whose lineage we have celebrated this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy fathers, of the first and second ecumenical councils, whose memory we celebrate this day, and of all your saints. Through the prayers of our Holy Father's Lord, Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated.
So good morning, everyone. Um, let me make some announcements while we wait for the Sunday school children and the teachers to come over. So as you know, today is the last day of church school. And so we've invited our teachers and some of the kids to come over and uh, just say thanks to the teachers. It's been a good year in spite of all the things we've had to face. So um, let me mention a couple of other things. Uh, Sister Vasa, stand up, baby. Sister Vasa was here yesterday and conducted the women's retreat. And all of you women were here. I know you learned a lot. So, Sister Vasa will be, and Mitri, this time, will let you as a man come. Um, Sister Vasa will be next door in the parish library. And if you have any questions, you can ask her anything you want. It's almost like playing Stump Sister Vasa. Okay? So, at the end of liturgy, but do give her a chance to go and get a cup of coffee, uh, because that is what she's famous for, after all, at any rate. Um, so she will be next door in the library, and you can join us there. She has just a few books left, and um, Denise Canellis is over in Sunday School, but let me also uh, recognize her as one of the authors, together with Sister Vasa, of one of the books that uh, we'll be selling today. Um, so, you see we've got church school graduation, you see that the Zoe Greek dance practice is meeting uh, after church in the Advanced Center, uh, you know that uh, there is the end of the year church school youth and family party uh, today that's at one o'clock uh, over at the Tibbs house. Um, you know that tomorrow uh, we have the Women's Study Fellowship uh, in the evening at seven o'clock, it's via Zoom. Uh, we have on Wednesday festival baking early in the morning at 10 a.m. Uh, so those of you who can come, by all means, please do so. Uh, you know that Eve is teaching her very short course in Orthodox theology at 7 o'clock on Wednesday evening. And that uh, she's also teaching the women's Bible study on the Gospel of Luke uh, Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Mr. Dean's Bible study on the Psalms and Proverbs uh, is that evening at 7.30 now, this coming Saturday is the Saturday of Souls. And so each year it's the Saturday of Souls before Pentecost. So all of you can submit names, and all we need are the first names, uh, of those whom you would like us to remember that morning at the special memorial service that we do that day. So uh, if you turn to page 15 in your Sunday bulletins, you'll know that there is a list there uh, on which you can list the names that you'd like submitted for prayer. Um, Women's Study Fellowship, you can see, is having their social uh, immediately after uh, the liturgy and the memorial service. Now, uh, where, where is Andrew Marcus? Did I lose him? Oh, you are sitting right in front of me, baby. <laughs> so, Andrew, you all know that Andrew is the chairman of the Greek festival. Now, he needs your help. Oh, he's doing this. Oh. So, um, he gave me a list of all the people who have volunteered so far. If your name isn't on that list, expect a call or an email from me. And you don't want to receive that, I know. So, by all means, you need to help Andrew out. Uh, starting today, he will be outside, and he will have a sign-up list so that you can help him out. And uh, please, do sign up, because it's at the end of this month, and three weeks, we need to get going. That's why we're baking. Curambietas. I don't know. Are you going to be here? Okay. So. Andrew, thank you. Thank you. So if you notice today, um, you know that we are doing a new strategic plan for our parish. And also, um, we sent out a survey a couple of weeks ago. Uh, actually, it says here 254 people filled out the survey. Actually, the number is 256. Uh, Steve Tibbs said to me, eh, 
maybe we get 200, Father. So 256 is really good. So I commend you. Uh, that's going to help the committee uh, as we move forward in planning things out uh, for the next five years. So um, I see Sunday school people back there. Come on up, you guys. It's OK. So let me mention, I think I mentioned to you last week, that the icon of Pentecost is finished. The icon of the Ascension still remains to be done. And so do the icons of the four saints, but those are underway, uh, the four women saints that we'll have in the rear of the church. Uh, in fact, St. Elizabeth the New Martyr, under the communists, uh, actually was finished when I climbed the scaffolding uh, this past Friday. So, um, and if you look before you leave, you may be able to see at the top of the loft, let everything you do be done in love. That's the last verse from St. Paul's letters uh, that we'll put here uh, for all of you to see as you leave church on a Sunday morning. So, so I think Mrs. Tibbs is asking you to spread out behind the icon, though. Thank you, Father. So this year began rather slowly, right? Rather, and little by little, it grew, and we're ending this school year with gratitude. We're, with gratitude, we're grateful for every single one of you students, and especially for your parents, um, for helping us get closer to the normal church school that we are all wanting. Um, it's clear that our students enjoy being in class, right? Who enjoys going to Sunday school? I know. <laughs> no pressure, though, huh? Even with this year's challenges, these wonderful teachers have been able to make an impact on the foundations of faith of our children. These volunteers have come to class prepared every Sunday with activities, with crafts, with snacks, with patience, and above all, with love. Why? Why would they do this? Why do you do this? Because their love for Jesus Christ overflows, and they have plenty more to give to our children. Whether they're distributing snacks, whether they're leading a Bible study or reading a story or teaching a new hymn, all of these folks are examples to our children of what it means to be mature, patient, loving, and generous Christians every single one. So today we want to honor and acknowledge our teachers beginning with our church school board and I think probably the easiest is when I mention your name just step forward. Our church school board comprised of Denise Canellos, Dorothea Love, Dora Morley, Marianne Smith, and Steve Tibbs. We do have a 